SCP-001 Object Class Thaumiel Special Containment Procedures The containment procedures for individual instances of SCP-001-K have been mandated by Overwatch Command and are to be enacted simultaneously as SCP-001's total containment protocol. Personnel assigned to different containment units are to be segregated from each other, and are only to enact their assigned containment. Access to the complete or partially complete Containment Master Document is limited to Level 5 personnel. In the event that personnel attempt to learn the overall containment procedures of SCP-001, or attempt to expose different SCP-001-K instances to each other, they are to be given Class V amnestics and removed from their assignment. A ritualistic symbol is and was engraved into the entrance of every containment chamber within SCP-001. The instances are to be sealed in a room with a neutral atmosphere, and any damage to the seals must be repaired immediately. Damage or def defacement of these symbols will cause the effectiveness of the containment chamber to gradually degrade over time, to the point where the containment cycle will be unable to sustain itself. All instances of SCP-001-K in containment are held within SCP-001. Only personnel with level 6 clearance may interact directly with SCP-001-K instances. Additional objects within Foundation Containment have been given Keter classification to maintain appearances of the object class. Instances of SCP-001-K are not to be released from SCP-001 unless the hastening of a VK-class reality restructuring event becomes a desired outcome. If the Overwatch Council approves this measure unanimously, Foundation personnel will be contacted by Level 6 personnel for further instructions. Description SCP-001 designates the source of all anomalous artifacts, classified as Keter. Documentation for personnel with clearance under Level 5 are to refer to these objects by their SCP numbers, documentation. SCP-001 is a facility located within Terra Redacted. Although its interior comprises of significantly more area than this region contains, the exterior appears to be lar a large, nondescript research facility. Attempts to document SCP-001's outer appearance in detail has resulted in conflicting and contradictory results. Attempts to map the interior have yielded contradictory floor plans. SCP-001's interior space is roughly equivalent to an office or military complex, with, with enough space and facilities to support 450 people. There are 755 SCP-001-K instances currently known to exist. SCP-001-K designates any anomalous object which has originated from SCP-001. All instances of SCP-001-K were present at the discovery of SCP-001.
Although some have since been lost, each SCP-001-K instance is kept in place by another entity, with the anomalous properties of each separate object neutralizing the effect of the other. When any containment cycles for instances of SCP-001-K are broken, the containment chamber will be affected by reality-warping anomaly. Interior spaces will begin to operate under a new set of physical laws, which confirm to the, re to the properties of the newly uncontained SCP-001-K instances. These areas are hostile to human life and will begin to aggressively expand if other SCP-001-K containment breaches occur. Currently, no containment breaches have occurred since 18, 8, day of 18, 1999. Month unknown. SCP-001 was originally documented by American mercenaries serving in Greece, Greece following the Second World War. Once the anomalous properties become apparent, Several organizations claimed control over the area, but the group was able to prevent SCP-001 from falling into outside control. Control over SCP-001 was voluntarily turned over to the Foundation in 1949. Data from this period of SCP-001's containment has not been recovered to date due to the breach of several SCP-001-K instances, rendering large portions of SCP-001 impossible to enter. Objects designated as SCP-001-K, SCP-718, and SCP-689. Containment Method Instances of SCP-718 positioned on mummified human corpses in a triangular pattern around SCP-689. Occasionally, all instances will simultaneously look away, causing SCP-689 to manifest on and terminate the SCP-718 instances, which will cause additional SCP-718 to form. Instances of SCP-718 will then resume observation, manipulating SCP-689 back to its original position via the eye stalks. Objects designated as SCP-001-K, SCP-990, and SCP-122. Containment Method SCP-122 entities appear to be retaining SCP-990 within the physical world by keeping it asleep in perpetuity, using their bodies to muffle outside sound and whispering bedtime stories to SCP-990. Other SCP-122 entities have covered the walls, ceilings, and floors of the chamber to block all outside light sources. Objects designated as SCP-001-K, SCP-1178, and SCP-1984. Containment Method SCP-1178 is suspended within a large cubicle chamber, being constantly pursued by SCP-1984. Six distinct Chase patterns exist, which alternate on an apparently random basis. SCP-1984 has never been observed to move within 15 meters to SCP-1178, with SCP-1178 accelerating to prevent SCP-1984 from reaching it. 
Containment personnel are currently researching means to mitigate any possible detonation of SCP-1178 caused by SCP-1984 as to not cause the annihilation of SCP-001 and an in immediate VK-class end-of-the-world event. Objects designated as SCP-001-K SCP-1440 and SCP-836 Containment Method SCP-1440 is suspended in the center of a large circular chamber. Floating around it are structures affected by SCP-836, such as walls and doors. These objects continuously approach and are destined by SCP-1440's effect. They then reform at the bottom of the chamber and begin rising towards him again. SCP-1440 claims that he is imprisoned by a father but has not provided any additional information. It is not known why SCP-1440's effect has not destroyed SCP-001. Objects designated as SCP-001-K SCP-1048 and SCP-1055 Containment Method As SCP-1055 gains additional mass, instances of SCP-1048 continuous, continuously tear it apart to construct new instances of themselves. SCP-1055 is fully mobile, and will attempt to destroy all instances of SCP-1048 which approach it. These remains will be reconstructed as additional SCP-1048. Instances are made to repair them. Currently, there are a number of SCP-1048 instances within the chamber with a capacity of data redacted. More. Objects designated as SCP-001-K SCP-1295 and SCP-871 Containment Method All four SCP-1295 entities are continuously served instances of SCP-871 by a blonde female humanoid in a waitress outfit, who continuously retrieves instances of SCP-871 from a wooden table and brings them to the SCP-1295 entities. All four entities can be heard complaining about the lackluster menu designs, although praising the quality and variety of food found provided by SCP-871. Objects designated as SCP-001-K SCP-505 and SCP-140 SCP-505 has been suspended above SCP-140, writing at least 15 70,000 word volumes of text regarding the Davite culture of, and civilization. The interruption of this cycle would cause a total irreversible, irreversible alteration to the entity of world history. As the texts written by SCP-505 start before the start of written language and appear to date at least 470 years beyond the present time. Objects designated as SCP-001 K SCP-231 
and data expunged. Remains of interaction between data redacted and a neutralized anomaly presently. Procedure 110 Montauk has prevented XK events caused by the interaction with only six potential failure events occurring since initial containment. Objects designated as SCP-001-K, SCP-058, and SCP-1983. Containment Method SCP-058 is suspended over a large cylindrical hole, which is filled with living human hearts. An additional amount of cardiac tissue has been pressed into and around SCP-058. Most of the chamber is not illuminated, and SCP-1983 entities within these non-illuminated areas are constantly attempting to tear the tissue from SCP-058's body. While SCP-058 attempts to violently attack them while assimilating additional tissue from the hole below it. Objects designated as SCP-001-K SCP-682 and SCP-296 Containment Methods All figures within SCP-296 have taken on human appearances resembling personnel killed while maintaining its containment of SCP-001. SCP-682 is not able to permanently harm these entities, and will alternate between violently attempting to destroy them or cowering in the center of the chamber. When questioned by Dr. Data Redacted, the SCP-296 said SCP-682 has been found guilty and that it was currently being punished by denying it the ability to die or kill. Objects designated as SCP-001-K, SCP-579, and SCP-055. Containment Method Can't Fit Round pegs and square in square holes. What was I doing again? Addendum 001A requires a level six key code. Please enter it now. Access granted. Welcome. Incoming Administrator. I'm sorry. Have we been reclaimed? We can see the other side. Things are different. But we take it in stride. Proposal is the new order of immediately. Research in existing K-class objects is to be rolled back and established at the basis needed to contain rather than propagate. We've had too many casualties from the disasters. It's time to move back to the way things were before the wash operations have been vastly expanded. Every object within Olympia itself is fully contained. And thanks to Red, we have prevented any real events over many days. Further information or new containing strategies can be found in you. Smile. Things aren't as bad as they used to be. We've got color working again. And I heard that pretty soon, they're going to start putting the feelings back in people. 
If you see the seventh bride, tell her I'm sorry. She had to open the box. Maybe she'll remember it. Addendum 001B VK class reality restructuring events designates an anomalous phenomenon theorized to occur if all instances of SCP-001-K are released from their containment cycles. If all instances of SCP-001-K were to be released from containment, this effect could potentially alter everything within the universe as known to be operating under non-anomalous physical laws. Research into allowing the Foundation to continue to exist in this scenario and protect the new universe from the remains of our current reality is ongoing. Thank you for your time.